Welcome to another moment on the Malcolm Stories channel where we celebrate everything beautiful, fabulous, and a little ridiculous. My job is to make the clothes look beautiful, make my money, and leave, you know? Click subscribe down below to become a part of the moment. Today's moment is about Brandy Quinones. If you've been on the channel before, then you know that I'm here for the 90s fashion nostalgia runway a moment. moment. Brandy Quinones had to be the next supermodel that we do a little um, introspective moment on. She was definitely known for a very sassy, very switchy uh, runway walk. I saw her in one of the Versace shows that I did a reaction to and right away I was just like, yeah, 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 they wanna know. Who is that girl? What is going on? Chanel, Dior, Saint Laurent, Dolce & Gabbana. She literally walked for all of the high fashion brands. She speaks now a lot about the fact that she was really one of the only swirly girls. I think she's half Puerto Rican. Women of color just weren't sought after in the industry. So she's definitely a trailblazer. She's definitely an icon. I also saw a few years ago she returned to the runway, so she still does some modeling. Back to the 90s, Brandy Quinones on the Runway Collection YouTube channel. Uh, you know, you could almost say that it's a little aggressive or it's a little hard. Like I read that she, when she looks back, she just feels like she was doing a lot. It was the 90s, girl. Let the girls have it. She is breathtakingly beautiful as well. I mean, the face literally speaks for itself. Yeah, very much attitude, very like Janet Jackson's Super Bowl. Like, this is my moment. Ooh, that's giving me Rick Owens vibes right there. Versace, absolutely. Yeah, just very unapologetic, very free, very gorgeous. Statuesque. It's almost like... It, and even though she gives you the attitude and the sassiness with the walk, she still gives you this, like, very kind of relatable, you know, feeling. This is the walk that I saw, girl. In this slinky, satin, yeah. I'm your dream and your nightmare. Right. I enjoy that. Expensive. Yeah. That's expensive. Look. Yeah, I'm here. Are you watching closely? Take a picture and it'll last forever. Can't you just feel the confidence dripping off of her? If you can walk like that in front of a room full of people, there's something that you have that I'm looking for. Look at this quilted, uh, what is this duvet puffer situ- what is that? That is fabulous. Brandy is another chameleon. Yasmin was like this too, because, you know, some of these looks I feel like, is that really her? Like, look at this. This is giving me, like, pin-up housewife, Nicole Kidman, Stepford, Stepford wife. You know what I mean? Like, very Ralph Lauren, very tailored. This is giving me Dominique Devereaux. Very uh, flashy, bougie, elegant. I'm staying at the Ritz-Carlton, but you won't be charging my card for it. That's what that's giving me. Absolutely. What a chameleon. What a talent. Ooh, someone said so much potential and truly was a shooting star, but she got into drugs and her career suffered. She's back on track and is even more stunning. I don't get into all of those messy details because I am not an investigative reporter. I am not going to uh, claim to know anything besides what I know, and that's that she was a fabulous walker and she's a fabulous supermodel. Look, see, I thought she was truly a bit extra, but I always saw her with the rest of the supermodels, meaning the designers liked her, so obviously she belonged there. Absolutely. Someone said supermodel Brandy Canones is the Aaliyah version in the fashion industry. Ooh, very interesting comparison. So freaking pretty. I mean, like, girl. Look, her walk was too much, but I just love her for her classic extra personality, like Tyra 2.0. That's interesting. You wanna be on top? 
I have so many other supermodels from the 90s on my list. I need to actually go back and make sure that everyone is accounted for, but if you have someone else specific, definitely leave me a comment down below because I'm trying to get to everybody's reactions now. If there's another Brandy Canones video that you want me to watch, drop the link, I'll circle back. I also just did a makeup series on my channel. You know I like to be the hometown buffet of YouTube over here. If you're not interested in makeup, then of course you don't have to watch it, but also, if you want some little quick makeup tips and tricks, you can get that on the channel as well. I just told you, hometown buffet. If you liked this reaction, then give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below. I always interact and respond to all comments, and I will see you in the next video, in the next experience, and in the next moment. She's an icon, she's a legend, and she is the moment. Now come on now.